We're here in Boxborough, Massachusetts at the Boxborough Regency Hotel and Convention Center for the 2019 Northeast Comic Con and Collectibles Extravaganza. Now this is one of the smaller conventions that I cover each year. There's no big name celebrities or anything like that out here to meet, so I'll be saving a lot of money. But it is a cool place to find hard to find action figures, posters, vintage stuff from the 1950s all the way to today. It's, it's a cool time. There are a few celebrities out here and in past years I've met Stars from the movie Jaws, Gilligan's Island, and even the Monkees. And it just so happens that the organizers of this convention invited me out to cover today's event, and they gave me a press pass. I gotta say, for being a smaller show, this parking lot is completely packed. That sign pretty much says it all. Yep, this place looks exactly the same as it did in November. Snowbank was here then too. Go figure, eight drop puffing stuff are out here puffing out in the smoking section. I have a question, did she buy two tickets? One for her and one for Yoda? Oh my god, check it out. Is there like the it's idea, Mr. Rogers. Like in theory, one day you're gonna hit a place like this. Place Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Want to meet my neighbor? Absolutely. You never know who you're gonna run out to here at Comic Con. When else are you ever going to see the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers hanging out with Superman and Captain America? Spider-Man giving Deadpool a piggyback. Or a pack of minions heading to the bar. Looks like Chewie's hanging out by the pool. Like I state every time, this is the only convention I've ever been to where there's an actual pool inside the convention. I mean, literally, the pool is right outside this pop culture convention. And right underneath the pool is the bar for today's Comic-Con. Here is a look at the little bar menu and the food menu here at the Regency Hotel for today's Comic-Con. You can get a Mole Man mac and cheese, a Captain America chili, Star-Lord smoked turkey sandwich, Hulk ham and Swiss sandwich, Nighthawk nacho, and a... Hawkeye hot dog. And as always, you can get a Batman and Robin beer or a Wonder Woman wine. If you didn't like what you saw on the menu, or you wanted something a little bit heavier than some chili or a turkey sandwich or a hot dog, you can step inside the Minuteman Grill. It's located inside the lobby of the Foxborough Regency Hotel. Nice looking hotel bar. Yeah, inside here you get a full liquor menu and a full dinner menu. I had to step away from the con for a minute for a Bud Light and some spicy french fries. I'm gonna thank this lovely lady for giving me some free french fries. Just like Indiana Jones. Check out all this cool stuff from Bill Diamond Studios. From the Little Shop of Horrors, we have Audrey 2. Or is that Audrey 1? Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. We got some Muppets from Jim Henson Studios over here. Not to mention Return of the Jedi and Gizmo from Gremlins. If you're a fan of my channel, you know that I bring up time to time the creature from the Black Lagoon since he is my favorite universal horror monster. And here we got a creature puppet. That is awesome. Right over here next to some Fraggle Rock. Speaking of monsters, check these guys out. Especially digging this one in the middle. Looks like Nosferatu, the old school vampire from the silent movie about Dracula. I mean, look at the detail on this stuff. Check this out. Comedian and voice actor Gilbert Gottfried is out here at the Northeast Comic Con today. Anymore. If I gotta choke down on one more of those moldy, disgusting crackers, bam! Whack! Calm yourself, you Just one giant, I just. Ah! Ah! Uh, does anyone have a question? I, I like to keep these things rolling, so we've done so many pilots where you just look around at all the people like, you know, The Walking Dead, you're like, oh, we're not gonna see any of these people again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buddy Holly has had better luck with pilots. Than I 
My name is Lauren. I've got a question. I realize doing voiceovers for cartoons is a solitary thing, but when you were doing Aladdin, did you get to work with it? How was it work, like working with Robin Williams or any of the other voice actors? Well, the, the funny thing is, is um, when I was doing Aladdin, you know, people have, I, I love hearing these stories where they say, God, when, when Gilbert and Robin got into the sound booth together, that was crazy. And I, I never worked with him once. <laughs> to, yeah, with a lot. Never ran into him. I mean, I thought I, I've uh, met him, you know, many times over the years in comedy clubs, but never once during Aladdin. I never met the princess uh, during the making of it or, or Aladdin. I, I worked with. Um, you know, a handful of times I worked with Jonathan Freeman, who's Jafar, but most of the time by myself. When you were filming Aladdin, did you have any artistic license over what you could see? Oh, uh, well, uh, they, they were pretty open as far as letting me ad lib a lot during it. So a lot of it is just stuff I came up with. And uh, every, every now and then they'd have to stop me and say, uh, you know, it's kind of a family. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best thing that happened, they was when the series was on, uh, they had the Aladdin series for a while. And at one point, we were all being chased by a tiger. And I had the line in the script was, uh, oh, uh, he's going to eat us like we're kitty chow. And, and I did that. And they got a complaint from just, I think, one woman. And they had me come in and re-record it. Because the woman said she was very offended watching it with her family when Gilbert Gottfried said, uh, he's going to eat us like we're titty chops. <laughs> which, which is, uh, which is a, a snack for breasts, I mean, titty chow. <laughs> One of my favorite lines in the movie is, I'm so tired of being Is that one of your lines? Oh, I don't remember. But I see, I always say, if, if you like the line, I always say, oh, that was an ad <laughs> Out of all of the USA of all night shows that you did, what was your fondest memory? Oh, God. I don't know uh, if I have anyone in particular. Uh, yeah. I, I just, I like, like anything else I do. When I do it, I'm sitting there going, gee, I wish I could get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's hear it one more time and give it up for Bill Garland. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. 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 You never know what you're going to find out here at one of these pop culture conventions. Like, for instance, these huge cereal masks. Well, right next to my guy, the creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm really digging this t-shirt collection out here from this vendor. Quite a Frankenstein, creature from the Black Lagoon, Metropolis. Yeah, I'm digging this artwork. Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon. They got these jacked up horror action figures looking like they're from Masters of the Universe He-Man, right? They're Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th and Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Here's a Michael Myers action figure from the new Halloween movie. The sequel to the 1978 slasher classic. Complete with weathered mask. Speaking of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, though, so we got a bunch of figures out here that I remember having back in the 1980s. There's He-Man himself. I also had Stinktor, that Spike guy, Khan the Snake Man. Peg Bundy and Norm from Cheers weren't part of the Masters of the Universe, but they still have their figures here as well. I've never once 
seeing the complete A-Team set with the A-Team van, all the characters from the TV show, including V.A. Baracus, a.k.a. Clubber Lang from Rocky III. Speaking of Rocky III, here's Clubber Lang, Thunderlips, and for some reason, Andre the Giant looking the same size as Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Well, there's a great possibility that this thing's going home with me today. I'm a huge pro wrestling fan of the 1980s, the 90s. Heck, I even watch it still today. Here are a bunch of action figures I never saw back in the 90s. Although, I was in college and I was no longer collecting pro wrestling action figures. I had all the plastic LGN ones from the 1980s. The other day I went out to Orange Connecticut and filmed the Pez Factory. So, this Pez right here brings you back good memories of last week. But that's not the only thing on this table that I'm really jazzed about. And I'm not talking about this Terminator 2 makeup kit. I'm talking about these soaps. Check out the Quick Draw McGraw, the Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear, the Flintstones. Those are all bars of soap. I still have my original Darth Vader Kenner Star Wars carrying case at my house. You could buy it out here for $20. I still have my original snow speeder in the shark bar as well. Look at all these original Star Wars figures. I have a, many of these. I could tell they're real too by the price. And I still have my original Jabba the Hutt play set back at the shark bar on display. Although I don't have Slave Leia. Are you a Universal Movies horror monster fan? They got your hookup out here for action figures. Everything over here at this booth smells really mildewy, which means that it's really vintage, which is something I'm digging. I really like those Beatles stuffed animals over there and those Disney and Looney Tunes cartoon cells right over in front of me. They got more Jiminy Crickets than you can shake a wish at. That same Bruce Springsteen in the E Street Van jacket's been hanging at this convention for the last several events. So let's go ahead and pull the trigger and buy it. You know, I want to. And if you're still interested, that new Kids on the Block tour jacket is still for sale. I remember Strawberry Shortcake from the 1980s. I know my sister does. I know she had a bunch of those action figures, and, well, here they got some play sets as well. Check out that Razor the Lost Ark 45 LP. All these old school magazines, Hit Parade, People Magazine, Musician, the Beatles, Rolling Stone. Here are a collection of drink coasters. A couple right now stand out. Taking a poke, you might remember that from European Vacation. That's the game show that the Griswolds won the grand trip to Europe from. Also Pac-Man right there. And that was a piece. It's some pretty cool stuff. Look at all this pop culture goodness going on over here with the Smurfs mask and the Q-Bert and the Magic Slate, which, is, by the way, is basically an iPad before an iPad back in the 1980s. Got some Godzilla. Mario Brother mask over there. Cat in the hat, Fozzie Bear, Waka Waka. Whoa, that's a vintage Yoda mask. Empire Strikes Back, $60. You can go home with you today. If you guys are fans of old school video game entertainment like I am, this is the first one I ever had, the Atari 2600. They got the console and a couple games out here for sale at the Comic Con. They got Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Video Pinball. We have a room on here where you can play video games, such as this Star Wars game. These pop culture conventions are really great to find vintage posters, hard to find posters. For example, the great Mupper Caper in this Linda Rostad greatest hit poster. Legos, the plenty of Legos. 
I see Star Wars Legos here at Comic Con. Out here you can buy the complete collection of the Muppet Babies Saturday morning cartoon on bootleg DVD. And who remembers Hey Dude from Nickelodeon? I do. Goosebumps, the whole complete collection right there for $30. I really love the poster for the Enchanted Tiki Room at Walt Disney World. And also the Country Bear Jamboree. What really is catching my eyes is John's poster, which I've never seen before. That's on the Cool Jaws poster as well. You can find all kinds of pop culture pins out here. For example, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, The Mummy, and one that I lost when I traded in my last car, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, which I think I will repurchase today. Check that out, the Ninja Turtle with their swords. Right next to Kermit and his guitar. I guess you could say that's the Ninja Turtle with their sword and Kermit with his axe. And just like every other pop culture convention I've ever been to, you can buy real weapons out here. It's a real knife. I always love checking out these sculpts when I'm out here, especially that creature from the Black Lagoon right there. Fabulous Dracula, the mummy. Nosferatu, the Wolfman, Frankenstein, King Kong. And hey, what are all these made out of? It's called uh, uh, cold cast bronze. This is super scalpy. It's like a clay you can bake. So these out here aren't made of that that material or no? Uh, they were originally were, but I made rubber molds off of their, the original sculptures and then uh, cast a cold cast bronze into uh, the molds and that's what each one of those are. So all these out here are made of bronze? Yes. And I love your work, man. Thank you. And if you guys are interested in any of this fantastic art, He's always out here at the conventions. There's his business card right there. Look at this awesome artwork. Everything from Pennywise, from Ant, Spider-Man, Darth Vader, The Shining, Rob Gronkowski, Hellboy, The Grinch, Han Solo. It's an impressive collection of championship rings. So my team's the Patriots, the Red Sox, the Bruins, and the Celtics. I'm sure combined have more than that. And you know it wouldn't be a Comic Con without stacks and stacks of comic books. Because after all, this is uh, how these Comic Cons all begin. Oh, check it out, they got a surf rock band behind me.
amazing. Great surf rock. watch but it's time for me to leave you know i didn't leave the comic con empty-handed i ended up getting the poster the creature from the black lagoon i just i couldn't leave without this thing right it's pretty retro looking it's gonna look sweet when it's in a frame you guys know what to do next if you like this video give it a big thumbs up leave a comment below i always answer all the comments if this was the very first detour video you've ever seen i invite you to check out the rest of my channel i 
cover a whole variety of different topics. I'm constantly at conventions. I'm at concerts. I'm at Disney all the time. I show you the sights and sounds of New England, especially Salem, Massachusetts. Those are uh, pretty much my most popular videos. Chances are, if it's a big event and it's happening here in New England, I'm covering it. Don't forget to subscribe to Detours. And while you're clicking away, make sure you click on that small bell. It's a bell icon. It gives you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. You can be the first one to see it. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. On Instagram, I upload photos from where I'm currently filming a brand new detour. And you're going to see where that adventure is taking place about two or three days before I put that video up on YouTube. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.